Hi guys, my name is Freddy and in this video series I will explain all the elements of the free Elementor page builder. In my opinion, the best page builder for WordPress. You can get it through ferdicorp.com forward slash Elementor. You can download it, upload it to your website and learn a ton of stuff about Elementor on this YouTube channel. If you like this video, please like it and if you are new here, please consider to subscribe for more upcoming WordPress tutorials. Now let's get started. In this video we will take a look at the text editor. I can drag it over here to the right and you see the text editor is actually the same as the basic WordPress editor. So what is possible with the text editor? Well first of all you can place a text over here and they've done it already and if I would say enter I start a new linea. You see there's a gap over here just because I pressed enter. I can say enter a new title, enter a new linea. And if I would say shift enter, this is the same linea as the line above. Let me explain it. WordPress works with paragraphs. So this is a paragraph, this is a paragraph, this is a paragraph, and those few lines are a paragraph. If I say enter, I start a new linea. If I say shift enter, I start a new line in the same linea or in the same paragraph. If I would select this area and I would say this is heading 2, then all this text becomes a header 2. So if I select this again and I say just a paragraph, then everything will be a paragraph again. So if I click over here, it says a new linea. If I would say a new title and put my cursor over there and I would say heading 2, guess what? Then this will become a title. But if I click over here and I would say I want only this line to be a title and this to be a linear and I select it and I do header 2, then everything will be heading 2. Why is that? Because I said shift enter over here. That means it's the same linear. So one big difference, this is a paragraph, enter, this is a title, enter, this is a paragraph. With shift enter, this is the second line of the paragraph. So again, paragraph, title. If I make this a title, then everything is title. So it has everything to do with enter and shift enter. Yes, so I remove this and I paste the text like that and it just looks boring like that if I go to a certain block file, uh, latest news. And I go to this one. You see a title, text, images, Google share, text is in bold, a link, another link, a video. You see that is not boring. This is boring. So how can we fix this? Let me see. I go over here and if I want to make it bigger, I can just drag it to the right. And over here, I see this is one alinea. So if I would say heading two, everything over here will be heading two. So I say paragraph and over here I say enter. I go down, bring it back one line. Now those are two different paragraphs. If I click here, I can make it a heading two. Also here, heading two, heading two. Something's going on. So probably, yes, I see there are two enters here, two shift enters. So I need to bring this back and then say enter. And now over here, make it heading to you have to play around with it. It becomes more clear the longer you play with it. Also here the same enter hang to. This one is correct, so if I say heading 2, this stays paragraph. It looks better already. What else can we do? Over here you see a bar with options. If you click on the most right one, you get even more options. I want to be found by Elementor, so I can select it and make it bold. And also Page Builder, I think there should be a space over here. Page Builder, bold. You can also make it italic. If I select Elementor, I can also change the color. Make it bold, italic, underlined, put it in quotes, 
Now this whole Alinea is in quotes. You can also say I want this to be a different color. Now it's blue and bold. And if we take a look at this tab over here, the text tab, here you see all the code. So we just select something and give it a color or a quote. But here in the text editor, you see all the codes that comes with it. You don't need to know the codes because we work in the visual editor, but it's a possibility. What else can we do? Over here, I see an Alinea and I can align it to the right. So if I would say shift enter, shift enter halfway the sentence, shift enter, shift enter and shift enter one more time. You see it aligns here at the right. I can bring it to the left. I can bring it to the center. So that's what you can do with it. I can bring it to the left again. And at a lot of themes, you can change this the look and feel of the heading and customize. What else can we do? We can duplicate it, remove it over here, duplicate it, remove this text area. And now if we update it, it's only here at the right. And then here I can place something else in the image. I can drag it like that. So that's what you can do. Let's add a link. So I've clicked over here and I go down demos. I can have a link over here, demos.elementor.com for instance, and I can change the options. I can let it open in a new tab again, demos.elementor.com, add a link or you link options and you can link to a certain page or post. So I can link it to something else at link. We can add images. So if I click over here and I add media, upload files, select files, I want to import those three images. I click on the first one, hold shift and the third one, open them. And I want to start with this one, insert into the post. I remove this column so it will be full width. And now you see it looks like that. So if I update it, it looks a little bit weird. How can we fix that? I click on the image and I say, bring it to the left. Update, that's how you see it. If you want to take a look immediately, then just click over here and you see how it will look. You can make it bigger or smaller or align it at the right. You can click over here and link it to the media file itself advanced options, open it in a new tab. You can have caption, replace the image, edit the original image. I click over here, say enter, add media file, select this one. I scroll down over here and I say alignment in the center, link to the media file and the size will be full size. Insert, now it will be over the whole width of the website. And then here below, Elementor Pro, enter, add media and I add this. And now there's the same settings as the last one. Center, media file, full size. Update. And now we have a blog post with a quote area and some style, colors, a link. If you click on it, you go to demos.elementor.com or to a different page in your website, which is still empty. If you click on it, you open it in the light box. And that's how it looks. That's what you can do with the text editor. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned a ton of good stuff and feel free to like this video and subscribe for more upcoming videos. And then you will see me next time. Bye bye.